Hey guys, welcome back to another Sell with Manuel vlog. Today's a little bit different. It's more of a day in the life vlog. Uh, right now we're currently on our way to, say hi. Currently on our way to Hyundai here um, to go pick up my car that my mom was driving. She got a new car, but then my actual car is in service. It's a whole mess up, but, uh, but yeah, it should be a fun day. Um, it's a long day. It's Martin Luther King Day, but we're still here. We're still working, uh, meeting up with a lender for lunch and meeting up with a team as well at the, at the office. Uh, we got a couple offers going out today that hopefully we get them accepted. The real estate market is crazy right now, but we're still here. We're still working. So uh, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> There's the man. What's up? What's up dude? How, How are you? This is Sydney. Hi, I'm Hi, Sydney. Manuel. Manuel, nice, nice to meet you. you. Sorry to is that your, is that your, uh, come up with your, uh, my camera in your face. I love that. <laughs> I'm always vlogging. You know me. I'm always vlogging. <laughs> Just wrapped up the uh, the lunch with uh, Nick Maglio. A lot of fun. Uh, the great guy, great lender. Uh, he crushes it out here in San Diego. But um, wanted to introduce him to the team. Just to, like I said, I have uh, multiple lenders that I work with, multiple people on title, all very professional. Just more options uh, for my clients. You know, sometimes clients don't connect with with one particular lender, and it's always good to have someone um as a as a second option as well um so that was fun right now the team and i are headed back to the office we are gonna work on getting two offers out today peter the guy on the team he's submitting two offers today um, i submitted one yesterday that i need to follow up with the uh with the agent see where that's at they're just the market is crazy right now um if you're a real estate agent or you're just getting into real estate like just a little word of advice stay patient um, you know there's deals out there to be made um, like I said the 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 real estate market is crazy for example these buyers that I'm working with right now it's the fourth offer that we're submitting and uh, hopefully we get them uh, um, in the door and kind of get the offer accepted but it's not as easy as everyone thinks real estate is, is not easy it's a lot of work uh, but I love it I love doing these videos I love working every single day coming to the office meeting up with clients um, having lunches with lenders, um, just building relationships not only with with clients but with uh, people in the in this same business as well. It always helps. The more people you know, the the more business you're gonna uh, you're gonna do. So and more opportunity you're gonna create as well. But anyways, we're heading in right now. Uh, gonna get some work done with the team. We'll probably film a little bit more content, and um, and yeah, that's uh, it's for the next couple of hours. I mean, it's 1 p.m. right now. Um, so yeah, let me let me bring you guys into the office with the team. What's going on? What up, dude? Oh yeah. What's up? Can you let me do this? So like, I just put chat in there as like a <clears throat> like temporary. Just wanted to try it out. How do I stop notifications? So this good thing. So you you said you have them in your. Um, let's see, go to business tracker or not business tracker? Sorry. Like what zip, zip code area is she looking for? I think she's she looking for detached? Yeah. Or a condo? I thought she was looking for condo. No. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's she right. I thought it was Melissa. No, Melissa's looking for the Got it, got it. And then you put in the zip area or area. Like if it's downtown, like it could be a whole bunch of areas. Or we could just leave it at San Diego as a whole. She's so super open. Then I would really narrow it down because you have 6,500 results. Yeah, I would do like 850. Yeah. I'm trying to see your video again because I think I missed, I didn't do this correctly. What video? Um, <coughs> that you sent out to oh. me. <laughs> Let me see. <coughs> what are you trying to set up? I sent my lead. I got an open house. You're trying to put a search, right? Yeah, so I sent her like just like the stuff from um, the regular MLS, but I don't really know what she or anything like that or Let she likes see. it. What did you send her? Yeah, and also like when, when looking for properties, 
you also don't want to be looking through hundreds and hundreds. The more na- you can narrow it down, the I, t- I typically wouldn't look over more than like 80 properties. Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of put a limit on it. Myself. Yeah, that's why 19 is perfect. Um, Either way, I'll just send this to her. Yeah, it's way nicer. It than is. The, it's, the, it's a lot more clean. Actually. Yeah. That's what it is. So I usually just send the link. Either I, you email it to yourself, or just type it in notes, and it'll it'll uh, sync up to your uh, iCloud notes on your phone. Okay. And I just copy paste. But yeah, if you, uh, try and get it, the email so you can put it on that um, collections. Okay. I thought it. I, I thought I could see it with the other one too. But yeah. Okay. Email for sure. So we're here in the office working with a team. You got Peter out there on a phone call. Naveed sending property to clients. What up, Naveed? What's up, everyone? <laughs> so we're here just working. There's uh, nobody here in the office. It's like I said, it's a holiday, uh, but we're here working. We're sending out properties. We're sending out emails. Um, just another day in the life of a realtor. It's a big office, but it's empty, and we're here and we're working. So, uh, so yeah, it's like. Uh, you have anything to say, Naveed? Um, no, it's. Um, I really like this office actually a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. Of, I mean, if you guys follow me uh, too, I kind of utilize a lot of the tools and the um, like resources that they have over here. Um, I love the, call the phone booth. booth. Naveed there. loves those phone booths. He's in there all the time. He loves those phone booths. But yeah, I love the booth and um, just like kind of cool to kind of lounge around and kind of just be in your own little space here. Yeah. yeah. Naveed's also on YouTube. I'll link his uh, YouTube down below. He does a lot of uh, market updates and yeah. uh, he's going to come out with a uh, day in the life also a vlog so you can see uh, his vlog as well, which is yeah. awesome. We're going to film a lot of content today here since we're in the office and it's like there's yeah. no one here my uh, handle for everything is at kayat realty so k-h-a-y-y-a-t realty uh, uh facebook instagram and youtube so follow awesome. me oh yeah there you go hello is this uh yes hey this is Manuel Sanchez. I actually got uh, your contact information. I got your lead from um, from my website that you're interested in uh, the listing that I have at Zero Ply Rivera Drive. Uh, uh, it's a uh, vacant land? Yes, it's the vacant land. Uh, what's your name? Manuel Sanchez. Uh, Sanchez, Mr. Yeah. Sanchez. Okay. Yeah. So, can you give me uh, all information? Uh, document, map, or drawing, if you have, send me, please. Yeah, absolutely. I can I can email that information to you. Just a, you know, a, a quick um, uh, information about the property. You know, we've had that that lot for sale now for close to a year. We had it listed okay. at like a uh, little under 1.4 million. Right now, it's listed at uh, 999 thousand. Um, okay. It is square footage wise. It is the lowest price lot in almost like all of San Diego County, like for the amount of, of, of acres that you get there. Um, it is an RR2, so you can build two homes per acre, so up to nine homes. Um, I don't know if you, have you gotten a chance to go out there and see it in person? Okay. Ha- it's, uh, I have uh, some experience to make a good house. Okay. And not split. I have uh, some experience. Got it. Where do you live in San Diego right now? Uh, no, it's uh, Del Mar. Okay, you live in Del Mar. Del Mar. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. So. Yeah, yeah. But have you seen? Have you driven by this uh, the lot up in Cardiff? Uh, uh, not yet, not yet. But in the uh, uh, near near time, is, uh-huh. uh, I'll visit. Okay. Perfect. Well, what I'll what I can do. So is um, I'll email you all the information on it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll check it. Would you send uh, all uh, information? Please? Yeah, I'll email. I'll email everything to you right now. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. So that was a um, a lead that I got through my website. They actually signed up, um, requesting more information um, for that piece of land that I have currently in uh, Cardiff by the sea. Um, so he just requested more information. I'm gonna send him everything that I have, title, everything through uh, through email. But um, 
my website, you know, every once in a while I get leads through it, which is fun. It's it's cool to get leads through it. Um, I haven't been putting that much money into promoting the website itself, but I built it out a year ago. And um, this year, one of my, the goals that I have was just having it more like paperclip type of thing coming up more on, on uh, Google search. So um, I did a few changes to it on the back end, like a few coding changes. And I guess it, it worked because now I've, I've gotten two leads from it uh, just this past week. Uh, both of them for this piece of land that I have right now for sale in, uh, in Cardiff, which is a, uh, uh, a seven acre lot um, that you could build um, not up to nine homes on it. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully this, this comes into something, but just another phone call, another lead. This business, it's all about lead generation. Um, the more the more leads you get, the the more business you're gonna, the more homes you're gonna sell. So yeah. So I go into marketing, and this is where I do pretty much everything on here. Um, and then you go into emails, and this is where you choose the uh, the email that you want to send out. You could see like the home value. Let me pick this up. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Are you in San Diego now? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, and, nice. Uh, we were out on the Embarcadero. There were tons of people out there, so I knew I would not be able to hear you. Yeah, no, no, no worries. Are you enjoying San Diego? Oh, yes. Yeah. Fantastic. When did you fly and, in? Well, yesterday? So, yesterday. Well, last we got in last night late. Um, our flight was delayed out of New Orleans. It took us... <clears throat> I think six, almost seven hours to get. Wow. Because of the delay to get here. It was supposed to be yeah. a three and a half hour flight, which yeah. it was after we got on. But, uh, you know, it, it kept being delayed. So, yeah. anyhow, we were tired today. And I think that uh, the most of what we did was go out and take a walk, a couple hours walk. So, yeah, yeah we well, like it a lot. We love this area. Yeah, well, the, the good thing is that you're here in San Diego now. <laughs> Yeah. 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 The Embarcadero is, is really nice. Obviously, today's a holiday, so it's like you, you get more people out and about. Um, yeah. But I, I already set up a, a, a few uh, showings for tomorrow. The thing with some, okay. some of the downtown buildings is that, um, uh, well, they have someone there that basically won't let you up. You need like a key fob to get up. So, so what I've done is I found like listings in those buildings so that way we can get in. Yeah. Um, Electra is a nice building. It's a little bit older building, but it's really nice. Uh, I think you're, the one that you're really gonna like is is Pacific Gate. Um, it's okay. it's really yeah. nice. It's it's really fancy. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking at that one. I would like to see it. I'm not sure. I think that Electra is probably geared more toward us, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I would like to see. Pacific Gate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, yeah, now, there's so, one that you didn't put on, on, on your list, which is Savina. I don't know if you wanted to check that one out. I have not even seen it. So it's it's literally like, I want to say like a block down from, or like two, three blocks down from Pacific Gate. And it's a newer, it's a newer building. Um, it's really nice. There isn't that many units in, 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 in that building. I think it's like 240 something units. Um, so you don't, you don't get like crowds of people in the building, which is nice. It's a little bit more private. Um, but yeah. that, that one I can, I can get us in. I have actually a key fob for that one and we can okay. go, ch and we can go check it out. It's really, really nice. I think you guys are going to like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever you have that's available, we just want to check things out and okay. see what kind of thing is available for us when we do get here. Got it. So, okay. Yeah. Um, what time tomorrow works for you? I was thinking, I don't know if 11 a.m. we can start going to see the buildings. Is that fine? That, that sounds fine. Whatever's convenient with you, we can adjust okay. to whatever you need to get us in the buildings. Perfect, and I'll send you. I'll send you the address to the first building that, that we're gonna see, and that way we can meet there and, and kind of go from there. Okay, and is that uh, Tabina? Uh, I'm trying to. I'm still waiting on a um, uh, on an agent to confirm for Pacific Gate. It would be Pacific Gate, the first one. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that's right across the street from us here. Yeah, you guys are staying at the Intercontinental. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's there's some good restaurants there. You you have to go and have dinner there. Yeah. There's yeah. there's um there's um uh, one in the rooftop which is really nice, um, and then you have the steakhouse downstairs. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. There's also um, a fish restaurant, but I think it might be closed right um, now for some reason. Maybe it's the holiday. It could be. Which which one is it? Like around there? Yeah, it's right next to. There are two in the hotel here that are downstairs. One is Vistal, which yeah. is kind of you know just a a lunch yeah. spot. Uh, but then there's right next door to it in the building is a fish restaurant. I've forgotten the name. Of it might it. be Brigantine. It's not Brigantine, is it? No, it's not Brigantine. Okay. That's across the street. Yeah. Um, I think I've seen. I've seen. I don't think I've ever eaten there, but I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, um, well, I gotta tell you, we had a, <laughs> we had a wonderful lunch. We went to uh, a carnita place across the street from here. It's just you know, like a, a out on the uh, out on the bay front. Ah, uh, yes, I know which one. Anything, but you just order from a window and <laughs> had really great fish tacos. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. That place gets packed because they put out like a big it screen was. TV and people go out and see the games out there. Oh. Yeah, but it's a, it's a good it's a good place to go eat and go have lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what we did. Uh, oh, that's awesome. So uh, you want to meet tomorrow at eleven? Yes. Uh, and and just let me know which building it is. Pacific uh, Gate. Before eleven o'clock. Yeah. I'll assume it's Pacific Gate. Yeah. But let me know for sure. Yeah, I'll confirm right now. Later today, I'll confirm just just once I hear from the uh, from the agent. Okay, and just. Uh, just shoot me a text and I'll meet you. We'll meet you over there tomorrow at 11. Okay, perfect, Elizabeth. Sounds good. I uh, look forward thank to meeting you, you tomorrow. Well. All right. Yeah. Yep, thank yeah. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, dude. So hey, ¿qué onda? Este. Pues digo, sería más cosa de nosotros si quisiéramos cancelar. En cuanto al vendedor, no, este. Hasta el momento, digo, ellos quieren vender, necesitan vender. Eh, hoy hablé con el con el agente en la mañana y me dijo que mañana este, a primera hora abrimos escrow este, y también les quería les iba a escribir hace rato eh, para preguntarles no sé qué día les quede mejor si el miércoles o el jueves para la inspección sería las 12, 12 o 12 y media ahorita lo voy a confirmar pero les quería preguntar a ustedes este, yo por lo normal siempre estoy en las inspecciones este, pero si sí, digo si por alguna razón no la no puede de alguno de ustedes no puede ir no, obviamente el, nos dan todo el reporte no y yo siempre estoy ahí también el el el, el the inspection guy eh, nos manda la, el reporte este pero no sé si si igual y tú o sea, puedan ir el miércoles o jueves o los dos el miércoles o jueves a las 12 o doce y media ahorita les este, le iba a confirmar no les quería preguntar primero a ustedes We're still working. We just uh, I just recorded a quick video for Navid um, that he's going to be posting on Instagram Reel. We've been doing a little bit more of those uh, Instagram Reels. It's it's a hot thing right now, so that's what we're doing. But um, the uh, title of this vlog is why I work on on the holidays. Why work on the holidays in general? And you know what? There's so many holidays um, in the year that you can't just go and take them all off, uh, especially in the business that we're in and how competitive it is right now in the real estate world. Um, we just can't take every single holiday off. And today's Monday. Monday is my favorite day of the week. That's why I always put in, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I always put hashtag TGIM. Thank God it's Monday because I love Mondays. It's the start of the week. It's when you have everything organized. It's when you're ready to go. It's however you set up your, the start of your week is how your week's gonna go. Like if you start off, you know, waking up late on a Monday, not getting your, your workout in and just chilling or just like kind of winging it without really having a set schedule, 
then you're just setting yourself up for failure. So, but uh, one of the reasons, um, there's actually, I think I have like three reasons why I like to work on the holidays. One, um, I usually, whenever I work on the holidays, I'm always posting it on social media. So what does that tell uh, potential clients or followers is that no matter what, I'm always working. I, whether it's a Monday, a Sunday, a Friday, whatever the day is, um, I'm always working. And I, that's something that I, that I learned from a past mentor that I had in real estate. He's like, hey, whenever it's Super Bowl Sunday, whenever it's football Sunday, whenever it's a special event, a holiday, go and do an open house, go to the office, uh, post it on Instagram, post it on, on Facebook, let everyone know that no matter what is, you know, no matter what's going on, you're, we're always out here working. And so that's one of the reasons why I like to work on, on a holiday. Number two is there's, isn't that many people in the office. So it's easier to work. It's quiet here right now. Um, I mean, I'm, I, I came into a, uh, a conference room that we have. I don't want to show too much of the office because I want to put together a real estate office tour video for you guys. This is a new office. I know I've did, I did one before and that was for our office in downtown, which I'm not at that office anymore. I'm uh, moved over here to the Del Mar office in one Paseo, which is amazing. This office is huge. It's all, it, everything's new. This whole building's new. It's an, an amazing office. And so I want to put together a real estate office tour video coming soon. That's why I don't want to walk around and kind of show you. I'll leave that for another video. Um, anyways, so what I was saying is working on the weekend. So two, like I said, the office is empty right now. No distractions, no nothing. Um, we're out here working like the whole team is here and we've been, we've been hustling. I mean, it's what time is it? It's 5 PM right now, uh, or close to 5 PM. And, uh, we've been here all day working. Um, also, uh, another reason why I like to work on, in, on the holidays is you get to catch up you, anything that you're maybe falling off behind on, or you're like, Hey, I need to put together this email, this marketing piece. We want to fill in some content. We are just so busy during the week that you know sometimes the weekend comes and it's the open house weekends and so holidays really gives us a time to work and catch up i usually do all my catching up on a sunday and i like i said i schedule everything for the week but those are the top three reasons why i like to work on on holidays and you know in the, in the real estate world we are all our we are our own bosses and so it's important to really be strict with our schedule what we do with it is so important we can't waste so much time just not doing anything because you know if we're not doing anything then that means we're not getting deals that means that we're not uh, putting ourselves in a position to win putting ourselves in a position to um, to really uh, uh, get new leads and lead generate so lead generation like I said earlier is the number one thing uh, that us agents have to do so anyways that those are the main reasons why I like to work on a holiday um, I don't work every single holiday, obviously, you know, New Year's and Christmas, uh, special holidays, big holidays like that. I typically don't, don't, don't work. Um, and it's not that I don't work. I mean, the, uh, I had a friend yesterday who, uh, who told me, he's like, Hey, do you work tomorrow? I'm like, ah, I kind of work every single day as an agent. My, my phone is 24 seven and, uh, I'm always, I'm always available. I mean, shoot, I was just telling, uh, Peter who's on my team, I, I told him, I even answer scam likely phone calls. I don't know if any of you agents out there do that. I do that. I don't know if it's crazy to me, but I'm always like, hello, this is Manuel. Like I'm always ready to work. And I try to always be professional, no matter who's on the other line. If they're trying to sell me on something, I usually don't hang up on them either because I've been on the other, I've been on the other side and it's, uh, it's kind of stressful. But, uh, but yeah, those are my top reasons why I like to work on the holidays if you've enjoyed this vlog if you've uh, been enjoying the vlogs please hit the like hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one peace